Hey y'all, I'm Kayla with Live Up Nest. Welcome to my bathroom. So today my video is a little bit different. I often get asked, how do I keep my home clean? Where do I put everything? So I wanted to share a couple of my organization methods and then a couple of ways that, and things that I use to keep my home clean. So by no means is our home spick and span all of the time. We're a normal family, we make normal messes. Um, you see the cream of the crop when I post my videos and everything is clean and put away. Um, so I wanted to get started here in my bathroom. This little closet behind me is kind of like our linen closet and we keep linens, um, basically all of our bathroom goodies in there. So I wanted to share with you how I have it organized and hopefully give you some ideas for you to organize your own space. So let me turn you around. And I want to kind of show you how I organize a couple of spaces. So mainly I want to start with this closet over here. Um, this is basically our linen closet and then I also use it for a lot of my stuff. So I actually ordered all of these white bins from Walmart at the beginning of the year and they came as a set of four and I purchased tons of them. So I have them all over the place. And I also purchased the labels off Amazon and then I just designed them. You can do it on, I mean, you can design the labels in Word or Canva. I used Adobe Illustrator and then put all my labels on. So down here, um, these boxes are really, these stackable bins with drawers I really like. So I put like feminine care products in there. And then we use like a lot of baking soda and Epsom salts. And so the bags I have down here, but then I also have them right up here. And I put them in these jugs, which is so handy to just be able to pull that down and put some in the bath and then put them back up. So we have all of that. And then I also love having these um these like lazy susans in here they're so awesome i've never put these in the bathroom and i don't know why <laughs> so if you haven't you should definitely give it a try it's so convenient i just feel like it helps organize everything but it's easy access to all that stuff and then these bins here i believe i got those at, at the container store but they have some that i link that are very similar on amazon and then that's where we keep our towels. And then this thing on the door here, um, that's also from the container store. These are awesome. So if you have limited space, these are great because they have different sizes um, of baskets that you can use, like different heights and depths, and you can do all sorts of things. So I'll also link some of those so that you can see what those look like. So this is like my makeup drawer and I use just these little clear containers to organize everything. So that's how I organize my drawers. And then under here, I have a couple of these um, stackable bins and I keep like fingernail polish and stuff in those. And then I have all my hair tools just stacked into that, um, to stack into one of these white bins. And that works <laughs> pretty good for me. So um, I don't like the things hanging on the door because so they don't hold all the things in. So that's what I do here. One thing that I really prefer is to try and keep as little stuff on the counter as possible. So this actually kind of feels like too much <laughs> to me. Um, but I keep like my daily like face clean cleansing things right here. And then hand soap and I have a little plant, a candle, a toothbrush and then this cute little lamp, which I love. So anyways, with the cleaning program that I do, it's just, it's easier if you keep your countertops and everything clutter free. So I try to keep as little on the um, counter as I can. So I wanted to come into my kitchen and show you my pantry um, and how I organized it this year. So I started doing my organizing in January and it takes a long time with toddlers. Um, but it's a similar, I'm going to stand back and then I'll kind of go in and show you. So see, I have the big white bins up here and I have them labeled. And then, um, these bins I've had at the, from the container store for a long time. Some things that I love, I love the can stackers. And then one thing that I started doing was putting like all my green beans here, all my red beans here, yada yada. And that way I can easily see like, oh, I'm out of green beans, you know, or oh, I have two left of kidney beans. So that's been helpful. Um, when I turn this way, I have some of my drink stuff 
up here, keep paper towels way up at the top, and then um, oils, honey, and peanut butter. This is just random. <laughs> My husband accidentally bought those beans, so I'm not sure what to do with them. They're chickpeas, actually. And then down here, we keep like nuts, flowers, pancake mix for the kids. And then in all of these, we keep, this is like some baking goods. Um, they're squeezy packs, fruit bars, and then we keep raisins and dried fruit in here. And another thing that I started doing this year is putting like all my taco stuff in this bin. So instead of having like my jar sauce up here and my, you know, tacos wherever, it all goes in here. So it's like so much easier to me and it makes more sense um, to be organized that way. So that's what we do. We keep all of our taco seasonings in here. And then if we have salsa and if we have taco shells, those go in here. And then the same with the pasta, which I couldn't put it all together, but I put my um, sauces in here and then we keep our pasta, brown rice, and then like chips and snacky items like chickpeas and things like that. And then coming up here, um, back in the back I have a Lazy Susan and I actually just use this for extra items. So like if it needs to go in the fridge, like ketchup or whatever. Um, but we have one in there. I'd put that there and then my oats I actually keep in these containers over here, but I'm finishing that up before I pour the new one in. And then we keep all of our like supplements and things up there. And then on this side, again, I've had these for a really long time, so I just kept reusing them and we keep like supplements and vitamins and medicine and all that good stuff there. So that works really well. Um, we also keep like these like foil and parchment paper and stuff in those and that works out pretty good and then I keep um, more like potatoes and oranges and bananas and stuff like that I keep all that in here so that works out pretty good so that's like our pantry um, it's worked out pretty well for us it actually stays pretty organized oh let me well, I'll just turn you around and show you Let's see if I can turn this thing um, under the sink I haven't cleaned this up <laughs> so but I decided to use two of these down here um, and that has been great and then I put all of our dishwasher pods in one of these drawers and then this is just like scrubbies and sink things so and then I also decided to hang our paper towels and that has been so nice just getting stuff off the counters like <laughs> I just hate the counter clutter and with this cleaning system I do, you're supposed to wipe your counters um, daily and so it is so much easier without having a bunch of junk on the counters to give them a quick cleaning. Okay, so we have this other linen closet. It's right off of our entry hall and then like here's our kitchen right here. So I use um, this, I, I call it like a utility closet and I basically keep everything in here. Um, I love this. Okay, so I went a little crazy with organization, but this has been so awesome. Um, again, I use like all the same stuff throughout the house. It's easy, it all looks the same. I can switch it around if I need to. That works really well. All of this, except for those white bins, came off Amazon, and the white ones came from Walmart. Used the exact same labels. Um, created all my little uh, labels for my drawers and stuff. But, so I'll start up here. Let's see. I keep like paint, um, cleaning, some cleaning stuff like that I really don't use much. I think that says citric acid and some Bronner's soap. And then that's extra cleaning cloths. Um, this is like stain remover and scotch guard. This is like extra bar keepers, um, branch basics, oven cleaner, stuff like that. And then my cleaning tools I keep in steam cleaner and then my force of nature little machine thing and then I have one of these and my intent was to put the items in there and then take it you know to the bathroom or whatever but I found I really don't use it because I just carry <laughs> what I need like it's not that far to just pick up whatever cleaner I need and take it to the bathroom so I don't know if I'll keep that um, I'm still thinking about it but I also put two of like these little lazy seasons in here and I love this all of these are glass jars and they're from 
cleanmama.com which I'll just kind of show you more about but that's the cleaning method that I've been using has been working really well for us all of these here are from Amazon and you can kind of see what they are vacuum parts scrub brushes more vacuum parts more sponges gloves tape and then I have like all of my dusting stuff and those big white bins they also they came in a set so it had something like these inside of it so then I just use these um, to separate things in these drawers and then let me pull you back up I wanted to show you I did get some of these little battery organizers I don't know if I'd buy those again. I mean, it doesn't hold that many batteries. It is nice to have it kind of organized in there. And then this one, I wanted to show you these. So I have a whole drawer for command books because <laughs> I use them all the time. Um, but I also bought a huge pack of these little guys and I use them all over the place. So they're the perfect size. They hold everything. I can fit several of them lined up right in there um, and I use them also in this one which is this one needs a little cleaning but that's where I keep like nails and screws and all of that stuff so anyway these are also from Amazon so I'll link those but they are just awesome to keeping all the little stuff contained which I love so this closet has been amazing I love how organized it is and I love that I know where everything is at like it's probably in this closet <laughs> and it is just so nice to have it so organized. So at our other house, we did not have room for this. So a bunch of this was in the pantry, um, you know, the garage, all sorts of different places. So it's been so nice to have all of this contained into one spot. So love, love, love that. And then we also have a closet that I have the kids stuff in. So I'm not sure if y'all are interested in seeing kind of how I organize the kids toys and stuff, let me know. I don't know if most of you care about that. So um, if you do, let me know in the comments and then I can do another video to kind of share how I do all that stuff. Okay, so I now want to share just a couple of cleaning products with y'all. Um, products and supplies, things like that, that I feel like have really been helpful in trying to keep our house clean. So I have been on the lookout for some sort of like schedule or planner, something to help me manage the chores around our home. Um, I've typically waited until the weekends, even before we had kids, I would clean on the weekends and do nothing throughout the week. And that worked pretty well for us before we had kids. Then we had children and that does not work. Uh, basically, I can't get any work done on the weekends as far as house cleaning and that's usually my time to kind of work on my business so i needed a different system and i i think one of my good friends recommended the clean mama but i love her systems there's a couple of different ones passionate penny pincher i think is one and she has a cleaning uh, list in her planner but i really ended up liking the cleaning mama best just the order that she did things and I really didn't need a whole planner. I use Remarkables to keep my calendar and it's like a digital journal slash planner type of thing. And so I really wanted something that was digital. She also has like a program that you can join for like a certain amount of dollars a month. And then you get text reminders on the tasks that you need to do that day. Anyways, it has been so helpful for me to keep our house clean. First, I'm gonna start with this. This is the Homekeeping Planner by Clean Mama. I don't actually use the planner. I thought I would, but I ended up, like I have a Remarkable, which is like a digital notebook basically, and I use that to keep like my calendar and my to-do list and all that stuff. So I don't use this, but I wanna show it to you because it has, um, because you might want it. And I think she might have a digital copy, which if she does, I need to look into that. But basically, here's, the clean mama routine and each day of the week you do something else so monday is bathrooms tuesday you dust wednesday you vacuum thursday you do the floors friday you catch up saturday you sheets and towels and sunday just the dailies and every day you make your beds you check the floors you wrap the counters pick up clutter and you do a load of laundry and this has seriously made my life so much easier like I just know I do those things every single day and I don't do it perfectly and some days I don't get the task done and then the next day I have two or sometimes I'll go 
two or three days without getting my daily tasks done. But just knowing that this is kind of what I need to be doing has been so, so helpful in keeping our house like picked up and organized and clean. Um, so I absolutely love this. And she has like a lot of free resources on her website that kind of show you this. I think you can probably print this out on her website. Um, and then she also has like seasonal tasks, things you should rotate like cleaning the windows and you know, all those things that you really don't think you need to do until they're just <laughs> so awful that you're like, okay, I need to do these things. Um, but if you're a planner girl, you should look into a planner. It's really cool. And she has like a monthly membership site and I'll put the links to all of that stuff um, in the description below. Okay, so Force of Nature is one cleaning product that I use and I absolutely love it. I've got it a little bit, maybe at the, well, I can't remember, the beginning of the year probably, but I loved using it when we were potty training and that's when I really kind of got hooked on it. It's an all-in-one cleaner, deodorizer, and it's EPA registered disinfectant um, that keeps your house clean and there's zero chemicals. So you make it yourself um, and they come in these little pouches and I'll show you kind of how I do it. I wanted to show you how it works really quick. So you essentially, we're just gonna fill this thing up with water to the water line and then you can get a, like a starter kit and it comes with, um, you know, all of the things you need to get started. And I, of course, keep them in these little containers because I love these things, um, but they look like this. So you just tear one off and then you're gonna pour it into the water and I'll get it set up and show you how it works. And I'll link like what all is in this. It's, I think it's vinegar, water, something else. Um, turn it on here and then squirt this in. Make sure you can see it. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it up close. I'll show you. And it basically does this for about nine minutes. Um, and then the lot will turn green and it's done. And then you just pour it in the bottle and it's um, ready to go. And it lasts about 14 days. So it has on the bottle too, like you can put, you can write on there what day. Um, but if you're using it every day to like wipe down counters and toys and everything, it, it really lasts me right about two weeks. So awesome 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 I love this and they also said that they would give one away to one of my followers so um, just if you'll just comment anything down below I'll enter you in to the drawing to receive the starter kit um, from Force of Nature okay and I also want to share with you my favorite little vacuum <laughs> so we have a big Dyson and I love it it cleans amazing for the carpets but it is big and it's heavy to lug around um, on the Clean Mama plan, you vacuum, well, you pick up your floors daily and then you vacuum once a week, which I was definitely not doing before. And I noticed that it was, it was just like, I hated to vacuum the whole house because the vacuum is so heavy and it doesn't like fit into little places as well. Um, and messing with the cord, we had a cordless vacuum, but I didn't feel like it worked really well. And it was... Um, the kind that like you have to lay down after you vacuum because it doesn't stand up right. So I started looking for a new one. I thought I was going to get another Dyson um, cordless, but I, would, I decided not to. And I found this vacuum. It's a shark vacuum and it is like the best. So I still use my Dyson vacuum. I use it probably every other week maybe, for sure once a month. And then every week and sometimes every day I use this little shark vacuum. It's cordless, it stands up on its own. It's just awesome. And so I'm gonna kind of show you a few of my favorite features of this little vacuum. This is not sponsored. This is literally just something that makes my life easier. Um, the base is pretty narrow, so I can just zip it around and it fits in between like the toilet and the wall and like under things really easily because you can detach the, um, like the canister part. And so then it's very narrow and it just slides under buffets couches, things like that. So I love this vacuum. I'm going to show it to you. Of course, I'll link it for you down below. Um, but if you're in the market for a new vacuum, definitely check this one out because it is hands down my favorite vacuum. So the charge is really good. It lasts a couple of weeks, honestly. It has a few different settings. If you use the carpet setting, it zaps the power really quickly. But as you know, we have tons of hardwood floors. Um, and they're actually tile, but this is so good to just zip over them and pick up 
you know, all the dust bunnies and crumbs and things like that. So a couple of reasons why I love it. It's cordless. It stands up on its own. I hate when you have to lay in the vacuum on the <laughs> floor when you're cleaning. Um, this one also does this. It's like a lift away. So if you're trying to get underneath um, a buffet or something like that, it makes it super easy to do. So this piece comes off super easy. And then it also disconnects right here. So you can do it like this and it, ha it comes with attachments. So if you wanna clean it like that. But it's also super narrow, um, which I love because like you can just zip around the toilets with this thing. It fits basically anywhere. I love that you can put it under chairs or buffets, anything like that. It is just probably my favorite vacuum I've ever had. I wish, it sucks really well, but I don't feel like it sucks as good as the Dyson. But the Dyson is also super heavy and it doesn't fit in our bathrooms. And when you're trying to like haul a big vacuum around, it just takes so long to get stuff cleaned up. So anyway, if you're in the market for a vacuum or if you want a good like everyday vacuum, this is it. I cannot say enough good things about this thing. Um, it's also super easy to clean the filters. It's just, it's a really, really awesome. So I'm gonna turn it on just so you can kind of hear what it sounds like, um, how loud it is. So if you wanna to go to the carpet mode, it's right here. And this shows your battery. That's the carpet and it really sucks down the battery. but it just sucks a little bit harder to clean your carpets good. Again, I don't think it cleans carpets as well as the Dyson with its battery. But if you need an everyday vacuum, this is for sure the one. So I'll link it down below so that you can check it out if you're in the market for a vacuum, but I absolutely love this. And it has made like my daily cleaning of the floors just so much easier.